This is Majid Heydari from Mozenic Engineering. So today I would like to discuss about how we can use ANSYS optics and photonic tools to simulate the AR VR class, AR VR system. So uh, we have a different tools in, in ANSYS like numericals in Axon Spills. I will show you uh, how we can use these tools. Um, so let's go first uh, to the workflow of, uh, of ANSYS and before that also I will show you uh, so actually as you see here in this slide so this is the one sample of AR glasses with the luminous so we have a LED here we have a light pipe we have some optical system here we have a micro LED display we have a glass so as you see here in the glass we have the in coupling and then we have, we have some out coupling to the eyes. So what we want to do, we want to simulate uh, the, uh, first of all, the, the optical system and AR glasses. And regarding to the micro, this LED display, I have some video on micro LED display that how we can simulate the micro LED display. So please, uh, uh, look at uh, those videos. So let's go to the workflow of augmented reality. So for the augmented reality, as you see here, we have some uh, optical design. So we need to design this optical system and we need to optimize it. So, um, and the, inside the, the glass, we have some diffractive optics element. We need to design and optimize those diffractive elements so uh, like we, have, we, we are working a different scale so here we are working with nano scale but here we are working in like uh, in a ray optic scale so then we have some op opto mechanical packaging uh, we, we need to consider the, the opto mechanical package in the simulation and then like we have some stray light analysis uh, so we need to simulate the stray light and also because of the structural and thermal issue uh, we need to consider the structural and thermal. So uh, and then uh, we need to do some system level simulation uh, uh, like for instance considering the env environmental effect and we need to integrate the environmental parameters and, and visualization here. So regarding to the micro LED uh, uh, display, so uh, we have some, uh, let's say, uh, some uh, uh, stack, stack of layer, some, uh, maybe we have some quantum dot, quantum well, it depends on the type of micro LED. Uh, so we have a good, uh, uh, knowledge based article and that and also I published some video on that how we can design a micro LED so uh, all this workflow can be done with uh, ANSYS optics and photonic tools like let's say for instance for the optical design here we can use ZMAX here we can use Lumerical for the micro LED display we can use Lumerical for a straight light you see here we can do with ZMAX the structural thermal analysis it's possible to do with uh, star module and the ZMAC, and this is SPOS. We can do the system analysis with SPOS. So, for instance, this is a, a one workflow. Uh, meanwhile, also you can see the animation here. But but first of all, in the in the step one, or not, we cannot say a step one, but I mean for the optical uh, design of of lens system. Uh, we can use a ZMAX and the ZMAX we have a different lens system and then uh, like uh, uh, we, we are working here in this region as a ray optics and then uh, we have some diffractive element diffractive optics element uh, that can be done with uh, uh, lumerical so in the in the lumerical we can uh, calculate the, the refractive and refraction and transmission of the uh, of the array so uh, we can export uh, the file as a JSON file so both uh, CAD model 
and the JSON file can, can go to the SPLs and in the SPLs they can do some photometric and colorometric measurement. So uh, as you see here, like uh, also you see in the picture, uh, we are working from the uh, nano scale to micro scale to the system level. So it means that for the nano scale we'll use numerical, for the macro scale we'll use Emacs, and for the system level we will use spells. So let's uh, first focus on the uh, on the uh, nano scale. So on the nano scale, uh, we have a great tool named RCWA. It's a part of numerical FTTD. Uh, in the RCWA is a, is a semi-analytic method. So you can calculate the reflected and transmitted field from a plane wave incident and the structure. You can optimize it. For instance, uh, you can uh, like uh, uh, optimize the 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 period, the, the height, the length. I mean, this is also our RCWA GUI. So in the first part of my, my demo, I will show you to how, how you can simulate the, uh, the diffractive optics element with uh, RCWA. So, and then, uh, so what, what we have uh, like in the ANSYS optics and photonics tool. So I said, like we have RCWA, it's good for uh, nanoscale simulation. You see, it's a period. We can optimize the period, UD cycle, height, and um, the angle uh, in the in the RCWA. And and also here is the uh, in the optical system. You see, we have a different zone. And uh, so there is a dynamic link between numerical and ZMAX. I mean, you can uh, you can change the parameters like. Uh, um, you can design the optical system in, in ZMAX and then um, if you want to analyze the, the refractive optics just uh, ZMAX can call the numerical as a backend and there is a like dynamic link between ZMAX and numerical and then you can uh, you know optimize the, the image quality uh, so uh, you can scan this barcode and uh, uh, you can find the uh, more information about uh, this link. So uh, finally, we want to validate the system. We want to do, want to do system validation. So th we have a great tool named Expose. So in Expose, you can test and validate the design in a virtual control scenario from the human vision perspective. So you can consider multiple environments, interior, exterior, natural light, artificial light, daylight, night, Night time. I mean, uh, so for the for the human vision, you can analyze what humans see. Uh, so, uh, so human vision model includes like uh, eye sensitivity, glare, shadow, or, or other parameters. So it's a great tool. Uh, I will show you the the whole workflow. Uh, let's start with uh, uh, ANSYS Lumerical.